The Missouri Tigers are next up on the docket here. Uh, last year, made it to a bowl game. Uh, the numbers maybe showed that they shouldn't have, but regardless, we'll uh, we'll talk about it. Eli Drinkwitz, six and seven last year, lost the bowl game to Army. Uh, were four and nine against the spread. They their post game win expectancy said that they were four point four wins and seven point six losses in the regular season, and yet they went six and six. Uh, returning production is number 88 in the country, 57%, and the roster strength ain't great. Uh, defensive side looks pretty good. Offense, uh, questionable, for sure. Questionable there. Uh, this team was number 97 in PPA margin last year, number 103 in net points per drive. Uh, I mean, that's how they made it to a bowl game. I am just shocked. Just shocked. Uh, Eli, of course, is the offensive coordinator. We'll start on the offensive side of the ball. The quarterback, Brady Cook, uh, in non-garbage time, he was 0 of 1 on passes 20-plus yards down the field. He only threw once down the field, really. Uh, 11 of 11 on uh, 0 to 9-yard passes and 5 of 5 behind the line of scrimmage. He was efficient, but we got to see more. We got to see if he's the real deal, right? Wide receiver room is loaded here. Uh, you got Burden. You got Lovett, Cooper, um, Dove, et cetera. The offensive line is missing a center now because of uh, what happened with the Buffalo transfer. Um, he was denied. Uh, immediate eligibility, which is bananas. I mean, they're letting everybody else play. Like, what's the problem here? But regardless, uh, running back is going to be interesting without Tyler Beatty. Uh, I don't, I don't like the strength on the roster here. Uh, number eighty-three roster strength for the offense, at, at least according to the guys over at CFB Winning Edge. Uh, there's just a lot of questions on this side of the ball. Defensive coordinator. We got a third new one in three years. Blake Baker comes in. He was LSU's linebacker coach after Steve Wilkes, of course, moved back to the NFL. Uh, Blake likes to coach an aggressive defense. Very attacking, for sure. Defensive end, Jeff Coat is a monster. McGuire's good. They added five transfers for a ton of depth at defensive line. Uh, Drink has used the portal as effectively as anybody in college football, in my opinion. Linebacker, you got Nicholson and Bailey transfer. Tyron and Tyrone Hopper. Um... from North Carolina and Clemson, respectively, of course. Uh, the secondary loaded with safeties. Cornerback's going to be kind of interesting. I think they've got the talent there to be pretty good there. Uh, again, I think this defense is is pretty strong. Pretty strong defense. This team is a projected favorite in only four games. They have five toss-ups. Again, toss-ups, any game that is projected to be within eight points. So, a one-score game. Win total sits at five and a half. It's used to the under at minus 120. Uh, you know... Like it's just a tough number, tough number. Uh, you got to figure out quarterback first. I mean, that's the the very beginning here. Uh, you do return four starters on that offensive line. Center's got to be figured out after Polgar, of course, was ruled ineligible. Uh, third new DC in three years. Like, what is that going to mean for a really talented defense? You know, Ryan Walters and Steve Wilkes each left for different jobs. They couldn't stop the run or the pass last year. Uh, can they find some consistency with these transfers on offense? Who replaces Tyler Beatty? Like, he had 1,604 yards rushing, 14 touchdowns, and he had 13 more receptions than the next closest receiver. Like, he was an everything guy. Who replaces that kind of production? Uh, I've got him at 4-8. and eight. Like, I don't feel good about this because I, I do like Eli Drinkwitz. I like what he's doing. But there's key positions that I think there's a lot more questions than people are really asking here. Um my only wins on the season, I've got Louisiana Tech, Abilene Christian, Vanderbilt, and New Mexico State. Like that's that's the only wins that I've got right now because I don't like the way that the schedule sets up. Um, you got Kentucky at home, you got Georgia at home, and you've got Arkansas at home. Like I think I think all of those are losses. I think the better team is the road team there, uh, and then the ones that you know maybe you might have a shot in, like at Auburn, that one's on the road. It's just a tough place to play. Uh, you get at Florida, and that's the week after Georgia. Uh, that's a that's a body blow game. I I just I don't like uh, the way that the schedule sets up, and I think there's a lot of questions about this team, and I hate that because I, I enjoy when Missouri does well, but who there are questions all around this bunch. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.